Hi guys, it's Triple C. Welcome to another video. And this one, we're talking about an Android app. It's called Sim Dashboard. What it is is a dashboard simulator for your video games that you will project the speedometer onto your Android device. As long as you install the app itself and a server program on your PC, and you should work pretty well. So I already have it installed, so I'm going to show you what it might look like. Well, not might. I'm going to show you what it looked like first, and then let's talk about the app afterwards. So now I have uh, Grid Autosport running, and then everything's already set up. And as you can see, it's doing the speedometer, gears, shifting, and everything onto the Android device. It actually looks pretty well. I always want to have something like this when I had a G27 wheel before, but you know, I couldn't find anything like this back then. It's kind of nice that I have this kind of stuff now. Modifying your game to have a real dashboard, or at least something that's similar to a real dashboard, it's going to be a lot easier now than it used to be. All right, let's try a different game. So when you're running a game, say a different game, the app itself will actually automatically switch to that game. It's all done by server software that's on the PC that you install to connect your Android app with. There's a lot of preset, uh, pre-existing, or I should say a preset dashboards that you can choose for your game, but for free version, you only allow one or customize three items. So, yeah, so as for right now, without paying, this is basically the only thing I can use. You can change these items, but only allow three things on the screen. So, anyway, here we go. That's what we're gonna choose. And let's go back to the game. Oh. Looks like I need to configure the PC app. But might as well, because I gotta talk about it anyway. And for the games you have, you gotta set it out for it to sort of send the data onto the Android device that you have the software installed. So like this, I was playing Third Rally. Oh, I must quit the game first, then that's what I would do. Alright, so modified again blah 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 don't know what it does but it set it out for you and now you see two check marks on the screen and you're good to go now let's run the game again That works pretty well on this too. So the app itself is pretty alright. Well, you can modify these things too. Say if I want to take this out, and I want to change it to something a little bit different. You can have your own customized dashboard if you want to. For example, I want this one here instead. That looks pretty alright. I put it right there, or you know what? I like to put it right in the middle. I like to put it right in the middle, and I like to put this thing someplace else much smaller we can have this much bigger don't stop. 
So yeah, you know, it's just like that. So I think app like this should be developed a lot more. Like this one here, it doesn't support all the racing games out there. You can't just customize any games. Um, their software have to support it in order to work on it. As you can see on the left here, it's got the list of racing games that it supports so far. It's got all the big titles at least, so that should be all right. For example, Dirt Series, it's got Dirt th uh, 2, Dirt 3, Dirt Rally, it's got R Factor, Grid Autosport. All those other famous games, it's got GTR 2, got Race 7, those are the older ones. Assetto Corsa, those are the good ones. Project Cars, it's got all the big titles, but it's got a lot of other titles missing, obviously, such as the uh, Sebastian Loeb Rally that I had and uh, many others um but imagine games like um apps like this to work on other games say like a mac game i mean these days we have a lot of old android devices that perhaps is being sold to other people just being in the drawer like my uh galaxy s4 just sitting there or this tablet here just sitting there there's a lot of old devices where you can connect a simple graphic such as this and then, uh, you know, make your video game a lot more interesting. Just imagine, say, Grand Theft Auto V, where you can simulate or take the data from, like, the cell phones in the game into, like, a real thing. So you're actually holding your hand to do what you're doing in Grand Theft Auto, for example. That would be very cool. Or if you're playing some kind of a flight um, combat game, it will be so much fun if you could have your controls and dashes on the Android devices, not necessarily another monitor or touch screen, just, you know, other devices where you can customize and have fun with. I mean, these days we have a, have a lot of old electronics where they're not fast enough anymore. You don't want to use them, but they're still useful, but they're just sitting there because nothing is being developed for them at all. So it's kind of a waste. Yeah. So, uh, this app is very nice. I think it's pretty cool. I think there's a lot I can do with it, but I haven't really think of what I want to do with it yet, I guess. But, but yeah, like, I mean, I guess I can play some real rally games with the cooler dash. Well, I should say bigger dash. Even though I think I'm focusing on the screen more than I'm focusing on this thing, but it's nice to have it there. I mean, if you're driving a real car, half the time you're not really looking at it. Anymore. 